Alright, so the movie year of 2014 is drawing to a close. And before I look back upon this movie year, I thought it was time to look ahead into 2015 to see what are some of my most anticipated movies of next year. Alright, so here we go. My top 10 most anticipated movies of 2015. Number 10 is going to be Mission Impossible 5. I love Mission Impossible 3. And I thought Mission Impossible 4 was overall very enjoyable. I'm excited to see where they're going to take this. And uh, yeah, I'm sure it's just going to be another action-packed, fun, joyous adventure with insane daring stunts. So that should be fun. Number 9 is going to be Mad Max Fury Road. The trailers for this one look incredible. Uh, I'm not a hardcore Mad Max fan. I've only seen the movies probably once each. But uh, I can definitely see why they have cult status. They're very cool, fun action movies. Uh, and they have this wonderful, wonderful post-apocalyptic wasteland setting. It has a great cast, including Charlize Theron and uh, Tom Hardy. And I hear it's the original creator of Mad Max returning to do this right. So I'm stoked for this. Uh, can't wait to see this. Number eight is going to be the rumored Friday the 13th movie. There have been many, many rumors about this movie. It's not even certain that it's coming out in 2015, but I sure hope so. I can't confirm or deny any rumors at this point. We know very, very little about it. I just really, really hope that my username, Voorhees87 and all, that we get a really good, fun, dark Friday the 13th movie. Number seven is gonna be Quentin Tarantino's The Hateful Eight. There's been a lot of talk about this movie, you know, script leaks and setbacks and stuff like that. And the reason it's not higher on this list is because, you know, another Western already from Tarantino? I'm a little bit skeptical about that. But then again, whenever I'm skeptical about a Quentin Tarantino movie and I go see it, he shuts me right up. He shuts me right the hell up and it ends up being awesome. So I'm sure this will be no different. I'm sure it's going to be a great movie and uh, it's just gonna take me by storm. And I'm sure it's gonna be well worth it despite everything that's happened surrounding this movie. Number six is gonna be Jurassic World. We've got our very first teaser trailer for this one. It stars Chris Pratt and Bryce Dallas Howard. It finally looks like they're sort of returning to the roots without copying too much from the original Jurassic Park. It looks like they're sort of returning to the themes of the original movie. I think I saw the original Jurassic Park in theaters when I was just a child. I think it scarred me for life. Hopefully this won't be another cash grab sequel. It won't be as weak as the first two sequels. Um, I really, really hope this put some time and effort into this, especially into the script. And uh, it looks like it could be really good. I hope it is. Number five is going to be Chappie. This is the new movie from uh, Neil Blomkamp. He's the director of District 9 and Elysium. Personally, I just loved Elysium. I think it's one of the best sci-fi action movies I've ever seen in my entire life. Uh, I know a lot of people prefer District 9, and I think that's just fine. Uh, you know, District 9 was a pretty incredible movie. It's, it's probably the better film out of the two. It has the richer storyline, but uh, I, just, I just think Elysium, just as a piece of blockbuster entertainment, was just incredible. I was completely blown away by that movie, so... Can't wait to see what he does with Chappie. I love the way he uses CGI in particular. I think if you're gonna justify CGI, this is how you do it. Uh, because it's so well made in general, and he uses it as part of the structural narrative, you know? It's not like he pauses to make this big CGI set piece moment. It's, it's right there and it feels very much alive and part of the atmosphere and part of this story. First trailer looks very interesting. Coming in at number four, we've got The Hunger Games, Mockingjay Part 2. I've uh, spoken about how much I enjoy these movies. Uh, some people don't, some people do. I read the books and I truly, truly love what's happening with the movies. The first one was weak, but I think ever since they've been just better and better, pretty much. Uh, really, really great, serious, uh, enjoyable films. And I think this one is gonna, you know, bring it to a satisfying conclusion it's gonna be pretty dark and harrowing for a PG-13 movie and it's gonna be if it's anything like Mockingjay part one then it's gonna be a fantastic uh, send-off to this series uh, a lot of people have complained that they're they're splitting them up into two movies to make more money honestly I think it may have been a good choice even though we're waiting for part two uh, when you see them back to back I think it's gonna be a very very satisfying four hours of cinema 
all told. Don't let me down on this one, Francis Lawrence. Number three is going to be the new Bond movie, Spectre. Of course, after Skyfall, expectations are sky high for this one. Daniel Craig is a wonderful Bond. I think the franchise is in a great place now. It's in a better place than it has been for a long, long time, to be honest, and I think that's wonderful. And just the title, come on, Spectre and Christoph Waltz in there, and I'm sure this movie is just going to be amazing. I'm sure it's going to be fantastic, and I really, really hope that, that is the case. Uh, it has a very short turnaround time, pretty much shooting it early 2015 and releasing it in late 2015, so that's a pretty, you know, that's a pretty fast production these days. So uh, I hope it isn't rushed, I hope we get a great Bond movie, and I can't wait to learn more about this one. Number two is gonna be The Avengers Age of Ultron. Yes, that's right, after, what are we, 10 movies into the Marvel Cinematic Universe? Some people are superhero fatigued at this point. I get where they're coming from, but I am stoked to see this movie. That first trailer is probably the most replayed trailer I've seen all year. I just watched it again and again and again and again. I love James Spader as Ultron. I think that's an inspired casting choice. I think he's going to prove to be a fascinating and uh, just compelling villain. And, you know, it's got such a lineup of heroes, this movie. It's pretty amazing. It's going to be very interesting to see what they do with Quicksilver as well, uh, because it's going to sort of contrast the Quicksilver that we saw in X-Men Days of Future Past. They're probably going to be different. I think this is going to be a little less comedic, but I'm sure they're both going to be great depictions of Quicksilver on the silver screen. So, uh, Avengers Age of Ultron looks like it might be the best superhero movie of 2015. Time will tell. We'll see. And at number one, uh, probably no surprise, is of course going to be Star Wars The Force Awakens. Star Wars Episode 7, what do you say about that? The original cast is back. I love J.J. Abrams. I love what he's done with Star Trek. Some people hated Star Trek Into Darkness. I thought it was amazing. I think it's incredible. Everything about this movie, everything I've ever seen, everything I've heard, everything we've learned about this, including the first teaser trailer, looks promising as hell. It looks amazing. I'm ready to just sit down in that movie chair and see that Star Wars logo pop up on screen, hear the fanfare, and we are back into the real universe. I even like the prequels to Star Wars, so, but I think this one has true potential to be, I don't know if I want to say one of the best, but I'm sure it can be a great one uh, and a very, very enjoyable movie. I'm really glad that they're taking some new chances, they're doing some new things, and uh, that George Lucas is uh, not in the picture at the moment. It looks inspired, you know. It doesn't look like they're doing this just to make a profit. It really looks like they're honoring the true Star Wars name and they really want to set out to make the best possible Star Wars movie that they can. And I I think they will. Like a great deal of other people, I'm going to be there as soon as I can. You know, the first opportunity I have to get my ticket, I'm going to be there day one pretty much. I don't know if I'll camp out or anything, but uh, just try to witness this movie as soon as humanly possible, bring some friends, just have a good time, and I hope it's great, and I'm sure it will be. Alright, those are my uh, top 10 most anticipated movies of next year, 2015. It's going to be a pretty amazing movie year, it's going to start off slow, but then it's just going to build and build and build, and by the time it's over, I think we're all going to be so happy and so surprised and so delighted. All right, so what are your picks for 2015? What movies are you most excited about on the silver screen? Comment below and let me know. Uh, and stay tuned because I'm going to make a 2014 movie roundup video pretty soon. It's going to be a little different. It's going to be one single continuous video and it's going to be very long. I'm going to do an entire 2014 roundup with every new movie I've seen in the year. Brief comments on every single movie. So uh, that should be interesting. All right, guys, hope you've enjoyed this one, and I'll see you in the new year. Happy New Year. Take care.